Hi, my name is Liz and I'm the crafter behind the Venice and Winter Craft Blog. Today I'm going to offer you an instructional video about a pair of cute little earrings I've just designed called Ghoulie Jewels. As you can see, they involve, they're a very simple design with an ear hook, a vintage looking connector, and a small gizmo called a memory frame. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the earring so you can see what the prototype looks like. For the uh, supplies you'll need, to make a pair of these, you'll have two memory frames, two appropriately sized images, two connectors, links, or other pretties, that would be this thing right here, two ear hooks, and four jump rings, not two as I originally wrote. Other tools you may need would be round nose pliers, wire cutters, and a pair of, I'm actually not sure what sort of pliers these are, but they are very handy, so they're slightly thicker. I will try to figure that out for the next video. I also find manicure scissors are very useful when working with small pieces of paper, as we will be for the memory frames. Here is an image that I've cut out of an old calendar. I was going for something gothy and spooky, so there's a skull. You can sort of see faint pencil traces around the chunk of the image I want to use. Now, how I did that was removing the plastic cover from the memory frame and placing it over the image and tracing around it. I'm going to be demonstrating this next. Okay, here we have the other memory frame with this ghastly picture of a smiling couple. I want to get rid of that. First thing I had to do was pry off the plastic cover. It's a little difficult to see. I'll try to zoom in. And to do that, I just dug with my manicure scissors, I dug into one of these corners and sort of prized it off. You have to be very careful. You don't want to rip the plastic but it should pop right out. It's pretty tough. And you do the same thing with the image inside and you can replace it with whatever you like. This is what's going to form your stencil, however. So you put it on top of whatever it is that you wanted to cut out. Try to match it back up with my lines here. And you just cut it out very, very carefully, making sure you don't cut your plastic cover. And then you wedge it back in here much like this sample photo is. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you next. Okay, here we have the much nicer picture of the skull in the memory frame. You might have to fight with it a little bit to get it to tuck under these corners here, but um, it will stay. These things are pretty sturdy. I use the manicure scissors to tuck the corners in, sort of wedge them, which I would be able to show you if I didn't have to hold my camera. But you get the general idea. Next, you'll be reinserting the plastic, which is another two-handed job. And you will end up with something like our little template over here, or prototype. You can see the plastic's back in. It's shiny. This should keep it protected from most weather, but I still would keep these out of the shower or out of rain or I guess maybe uber humidity if you're coming across that, just uh, to stay on the safe side with the paper. Okay, here's our newly plastic. That's a horrible word, plastic. Anyway, here's our newly covered uh, picture in our memory frame. You can see the back, they're quite plain. I suppose you could use it as a cabochon if you wanted to, but uh, here we're going to use it as a dangle. Now the next item, next order of business will be to join it. Let me zoom in a bit for you. To join it to our connector. Now, as I said before, I'm certain I said before, uh, these are one-of-a-kind pieces. These connectors are from some old earrings I got at a store ages ago. I never really wore them, you know. You know how it is. So most of my stuff is sort of a magpie's nest. It's always a de-stash. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to find this exact same connector if you really fancy it, but there's no shortage of Victorian and vintage-inspired uh, links and baubles out there, especially with steampunk being so popular. I remember Halloween is just around the corner, so I'm sure you'll be able to find a lot of these on sale. So. All you do next is a very simple operation of joining up these two elements of the jump ring in the middle. And then, let me zoom in a little bit more. Up here, you'll add another jump ring to join it to the earring hook. 